Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing? How's things? How's life going on with you? What's going on in your life? That doesn't really make much sense, does it? Um, another Motivation Monday uh, talk. And this week, I actually had a little bit more time to think about it. And But the problem is when I think too much, too much things come into my head. And then I'm trying to figure out the right way of putting it all together. So let's see how this goes. Um, I'm, I'm diving deep and see where it goes. Ooh, very bright light, isn't it? Very bright light. Very bright light. That's better. Espresso going here. An eye opener. Right. Um, today I'm going to talk about, last week we talked about uh, stepping out of the comfort zone um, mm. and, you know, trying to do a little bit more um, than you're comfortable with. Um, this week I'm going to talk about two kind of major things. One is failure. Another one is ego, right? As you can imagine, the past week has been an absolutely massive and an amazing learning week for me. Um, taking in a lot of information, but it's also there's been little nuggets of reassurance of like that some of the stuff that I do know, I do them do know them um, reasonably well. So that was it, was it was a nice feeling, but at the same time it means nothing because I rather learn more. <laughs> like I I wanna I wanna find the. I want to find where the holes in my knowledge of, of the things that I'm interested in rather than reassurance and patting it back. That's not what I'm looking for because that's, you know, it's good to know that you're on the right path, but to, to like just, just sit there like, tell me I'm right, tell me I'm right, tell me I'm right. Uh, when, you know, when you know you're right, then it, that's just like a, trying to rub your own ego, I think. Um, geez, at this bottles, somebody's uh, emptying bottles again, very noisy. So here's the thing, um, when we set out to do something, anything, whatever it is, um, as I said before, there's this massive uh, fear of failure that is crippling us. But what I kind of realized even more so that the failure is not a bad thing at all. It's, it's, actually, it's actually you proving that something doesn't work. And it's where failure is bad if you get stuck on it and you can, can you know, sulk on it or whatever. It's, it's, if you can take the failure learn from it and move on as fast as possible, then the failure becomes actually quite a good thing. It becomes a positive thing. And this is really, really hard to get in our minds. I know that, I know that. But the reason why it's hard to get into our minds is because of our own egos. And our own egos are, like it's one side you have to have a big ego to do something really, really bold and go for it. But when you're actually doing it, the ego has to come down, like it has to, be, you just have to let it go. Like you have to go with the assumption that you know nothing. If you know what I mean, um, if you and and like I'm trying to put this specific specifically in the frame form of an artist because you know this is kind of my idea is to kind of help the the musicians and other artists on, on their along the way the path. As artists, I have like very clear vision what we want to do, and art is a little bit different format than we think. But to assume that you can make a living out of your art, you do have to prove that it that you have an audience. Um, we keep on saying that every type of music and thing has an, their own audience, you just have to find them, that's fine, but that's a process on its own already. For many of us, finding that audience, if it's a very, 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 very small niche market and we don't know where that niche market is based, it might become too expensive for us to, do, to get to that point. So what we have to do is we have to, we have to have an open mind and we have to look at the world like you know this is the music i want to make but we have to go and play it in front of people and we have to you know lower the ego and observe the people while they're playing there and see what works and what doesn't work and if something doesn't work no matter how great that guitar solo is in your own mind if people start yawning in the middle of it there's something wrong there and you're gonna have to address that and it comes with every aspect of the lyrics, the music. Um, if you're, you know, photographer, if you know, you have this really amazing artistic image, but it doesn't resonate with people. But then you got something more generic. Uh, then you have to start thinking about that. Like, if the generic one um, resonates more, how can you make the generic more artistic, but still be able to generate resonate with your audience? You know, it, it's like there's there's no point of going with the assumption that you are the greatest. And I think that's. That's one of the biggest enemies that we all have as an, as an artist because we go with the assumption that we have to be the greatest. So we pretend to be the greatest. 
which is you don't have to be the greatest to be successful you have to be you have to be good at what you do and you have to observe your audience and you have to you have to learn to realize what works and what doesn't and that's not based on your own taste that's based on your audience's taste but it comes down to also the same thing that like if you're a musician and you want to make you, you want to be a big 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 pop star uh, then i highly recommend you start making vanilla because you know that's the most common flavor that most people are kind of happy with um nobody thinks it's absolutely amazing but it's the it's the one that everybody's gonna go for so that's the other side of it if you do want to, to make your own quirky type of music just make sure that it resonates with the audience that you're going after i'm sure a lot of you can take all of this information and and you know transfer it to whatever you're doing you know like whatever your job is that that whatever it is you do you have to not assume that you're right you have to know that you're right and by knowing that you're right you have to prove it somehow and it's not by being stubbornly stuck on your vision uh, you have to kind of put it in front of other people and test it out and if it works then you're onto something, you know, and and don't be afraid to alter the plan or the product or the vision or the piece of music or your photography because that's the way you learn. That got deep there, didn't it? Once again. Anyway, that's what I want to tell you. So take that. Don't be afraid to be wrong. Be very careful with that ego. Use it when it really needs to be there, but nine out of ten times just put it down and just you know, be humble, be open, be empathetic to your uh, to your audience, and uh, I, I bet great things will come your way. Anyway, that's this Monday. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about all of this stuff. And I shall talk to you guys later. More.